traveling today up a highway 88 which has turned into Apache Trail uh, Highway uh, up toward uh, into Tonto National Forest. The most famous thing about the area is the Lost Dutchman Mine. Jacob Waltz, the Dutchman, found and worked a rich mine in the Superstition Mountains in the 1870s. The whereabouts is unknown, as is the cache of gold he supposedly hid there. Many a treasure hunters have come and gone into Superstition Mountain. Making a quick stop at the Canyon Lake Vista to take a look at Canyon Lake. Scout, what do you think? <music> Apache Trail Highway was improved in the early 1900s in order to make it easier to get up to Roosevelt Dam. And they even, uh, because it was so uh, desolate a place to work, they even offered higher wages to people who would come and work in the area. $1.50 to $2 a day, um, up to $12 a day for engineers. So um, it was a very interesting feat during the time, I suppose. Yeah, it's a neat area. The road's gorgeous. And we'll see what the rest holds. It looks kind of windy and... They talk about all the times they kept straightening out a lot of the curves and reinforcing the banks and widening it. Mm -hmm. Apache Trail is a 120 mile circle route that goes through Superstition Mountains. It starts and ends in Apache Junction. We stopped at Canyon Lake on our way Took a stop also at Tortilla Flat where we got some ice cream and looked around. Continued on down the road of 88 when we got to uh, Fish Creek Vista where the road was closed. consists mostly of a museum, a country store, a mercantile, a post office, a saloon, which right now has live music playing, and uh, supposedly really good food. So there you go. Interesting fact I read in the museum, in 1867, one of Tortilla Flats' biggest floods occurred, and a cattle drive was stuck here for several days. All they had was flour, because their supplies were low, so all they could make were tortillas, and that's how the area got its name, Tortilla Flat. Did you enjoy your ice cream? Yes. 
Actually, it was gelato, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was good. Yep. Strawberry. You had strawberry gelato, and I had salted caramel. New York strawberry cheesecake. Ooh, yum. fun facts about the saguaro cactus. Well, they're only found in the Sonoran Desert for one. Uh, it's illegal to cut down a saguaro in Arizona without a permit. Uh, the lifespan is from 150 to 200 years old. However, old granddaddy that uh, died in about 1990 was about 300 years old and was over 40 feet tall and had 52 arms. Uh, they grow really slow. It takes 50 to 100 years to grow arms, 10 years to even reach one inch, and 70 years to flower. They have pleats that allow them to expand when they drink, and they can go two years without water because of that stem that expands. Fish Creek Vista and this is Fish Creek Hill. The road is closed from here to the dam. So back in 1915 you could take this road all the way to the dam. The road is closed from Fish Creek to Apache Lake due to a fire they had in June making flash flooding a very real possibility and a great hazard. So you can't complete the loop nor get to Roosevelt Dam or Lake until it reopens in March of 2021. $7 a piece or if oh, it's the all motorized vehicles. Yeah. So we're good. $2 if you're walking or a bicycle or horse. 22, camping 32. Okay, and you're right, you're right here. Okay. So do you know where you want to go? What no, we're do? just exploring. How about if I meet you right up there and I'll give you the two minute tour? Okay, sounds that good. Be all right? That'd be good. And this road goes four and a half, five miles way out to here, and okay. then it dead ends. And then you can backtrack on it. Okay. There's a nice little, this is a real nice little uh, kind of flat lock. Um, there's other bigger hikes, the three and a half mile one here. That's a little, it's got some elevation changes on it. Okay. Right after the nature center, there's a parking area here as well, where most people start. Okay. And that's the Pemberton Trail. Here we are at the McDowell uh, Mountain Regional Park Visitor Center. 
water was running, so I'm going to say it was the water to the handle to the shower, shower part. Yeah. Otherwise, if it was on the door, it wouldn't cause the water to run, right? Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you feeling? Good. Good. It's a gopher snake. Helen was a rattlesnake. It's Brian, he's a Mojave rattlesnake. boy this morning. Okay. Out behind the visitor center they have a display area that is the Sonoran Desert Tortoise that are right at home in the desert. So I'm trying to find Part of the Sonoran Desert. Tons of trails, a lot of mountain biking trails. This part of the park is 21,000 acres. You can see mountains in the distance. Did that make you sneeze? All right, Bill says this is a great example of Virga. And a Virga is basically rain that doesn't make it to the ground. It evaporates or disperses before it hits the ground. But you can tell that it's raining. You getting your bike down out of the garage. Like that? Off, yeah, off the, off the slide out. Bill's not exactly dressed to go biking, mountain biking today, but it's just way too tempting and way too pretty. So yep. he's gonna go off for a little while. I'm gonna stay with Scout. And we thought about putting him in a stroller, but it, the terrain is just way too bumpy. He would bounce all over the place and that's not good Bill, for him. tell him what trails you're gonna go on. The Wagner to the Granite to the Galise, I think it's called. On this side of the road, all the saguaro cactuses. Now on the other side of the road, do you see any saguaros over here? Probably not. In 1995, they had a forest fire that destroyed a lot of saguaros along this side of the road. Okay. This is not a baby saguaro. This is a barrel cactus. The difference is, notice the red tint to the, the spines, and the spines are curved. A baby swaro has more toothpickish like spikes. Now here's a perfect example of a saguaro baby. They grow very, very slowly. In about 10 years, you get maybe an inch and a half of growth. 
but notice that the spikes on it are more toothpick-like. So it was great because it's the trails are just like crushed granite, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, not like we're used to big limestone rocks all over the place and rocky and jumpy. Real nice pedaling and stuff. That was fun coming back. But yeah, you could spend. This is a mountain biking area for sure. It's good. Mm -hmm.